हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू मॉड्यूल टू ऑफ बेसिक इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स लॉजिक सर्क्यूट्स द प्रिस्क्राइब टेक्स्ट बुक्स और इलेक्ट्रॉनिक सर्क्यूट्स फंडामेंटल्स एंड अप्लीकेशंस बाय माइक टू ले हियर डी ओ ए नंबर इज गिवन यू कैन डाउनलोड द ई बुक इन दिस मॉड्यूल we will discuss the logic circuits data representation a microcontroller system half adder and full adder multiplexer and decoder shift registers and counters initially we will go through the logic gates logic gates are the heart of digital electronics in module 1 we have seen the analog electronics analog is nothing but a signal which is continuous in nature which is continuous in nature here you can see on the x axis if you plot the time here the signal is continuously changing continuously changing with respect to the time so this is an analog signal analog signal the digital signal it is discrete in nature here if you consider a binary so it consists of 0 and 1 Zero and one. If we consider decimal number system, it will have from zero to nine. If we consider hexadecimal number system, it will have zero to nine and a to f. If we consider the octal number system, it consists of zero to seven. So this is the digital electronics. A gate. Here in this video, we will discuss the logic gate. A gate is an electronic device which is used to compute a function and a two-valued signal. Two-valued signal. Here we have two-valued signal. Always while taking a decision, will the decision will be the output will be yes or no, high or low. So here a two-valued signal means it will have the values zero or one. so you can assume the zero is false one as true so which is used to compute a function on a two valued signal a computer is a decision making device which will give you the output either yes or no either true or false you may apply any number of inputs but the output will be only one either s yes or no so the computers work on the binary number system because they are computational device which will give the output whether s yes or no high or low logic gates are the basic building blocks of the digital circuits any digital circuit will have the basic building block that is logic gates very simple gates basically all logic gates have two inputs and one output usually we will say almost all gates will have two inputs minimum two inputs it can have any number of inputs more than two but only one gate that is the not gate will have only one input and one output only this is the exception only not gate will have not gate will have one input and one output because it is not not if it is not a then it will be a complement if it is not zero Not zero, it will be one. If it is not one, it is zero. Just take the English meaning of not. All other gates. In the next slide, we will see all other gates. In all other gates, minimum number of inputs are two, and only one output. The inputs of the logic gates are designed to receive only binary data. Only binary data. For example, if I write an AND gate. it you can apply binary data either 00 or 01 or 10 or 11 how do you apply this 0 and 1 a logic 0 a logic 0 for logic 0 we will apply 0 volts for 0 volts usually that logic 0 is called as logic low or low logic level the high logic level high logic level that is 1 is represented usually by plus 5 volts plus 5 volts so what you need to understand is 0 volts represents a logic low level that is 
प्लस फाइव वोल्ट रेप्रेजेंट ए लॉजिक वन और हाई लॉजिक वी कैन कनेक्ट एनी नंबर ऑफ लॉजिक गेट्स टू डिजाइन ए रिक्वायर डिजिटल सर्क्यूट एनी कॉम्प्लेक्स डिजिटल सर्क्यूट विल हैव ए नंबर ऑफ लॉजिक गेट्स एनी नंबर ऑफ लॉजिक गेट्स यूजली यूजली वी विल यूज इंटीग्रेटेड सर्क्यूट्स आई सी आई सी विल हैव ए लॉर्ज नंबर ऑफ लॉजिक गेट्स by using ics we can say the physical space occupied by the large number of logic gates instead of using large number of logic gates we can go for the ics which is nothing but an integrated circuit we can perform complicated operations at very high speeds by using this ics by combining logic gates we can design many specific circuits like flip flops latches multiplexers shift registers and any other digital circuits so all for all these shift registers multiplexer latches flip flops the basic building blocks or the simple logic gates now let us see the different logic gates basically we have three basic gates and or and not these three gates and or not are called as basic gates basic gates and or not let us start from the not this is a not gate this is not gate you can observe there is only one input and one output not ordinary english meaning and gate this is a symbol of a and gate a two input and gate we have considered one output or gate this is a symbol of or two input and one output we can apply any number of inputs more than two so these three gates are called as the basic gates now let us see two other gates one is nand gate if this is and here is nand n stands for the not so you can put a bubble here it becomes nand not and so it is a nand gate then a nor gate here is a nor gate this is a or gate symbol if you write a bubble it becomes a not so not or so it is nor n stands for not it is or nor gate later we will see the truth table nand and nor are called as universal gates two more gates here xor gate exclusive or gate the symbol is this exclusive nor gate put a bubble here it becomes a x nor gate so three basic gates and or not two universal gates nor and nand here two special purpose gates xor and xnor these gates can be used to find the parity of the input parity means number of ones in the binary stream so whether it is odd parity or even parity odd parity means if the number of ones are odd in the input it is odd parity even parity means number of ones are even in number then one more here you can see a buffer a buffer so whatever you apply you will get the same output so in detail we will discuss here in this slide the buffer this is a symbol this is the military symbol this is the military symbol american national standard institute so usually we prefer this symbol for the buffer this is a british symbol x is the input y is the output this is called as a true table true table will give you the relationship between the input and the output x is the input y is the output so as this is a buffer the output will not change whatever you apply the same thing will appear at the output here one here one if the output is same as the input then what is the use why we need this buffer buffers are used to provide extra current drive extra current drive at the output buffers do not affect the logic state of a digital signal if you apply zero you will get zero if you apply one you will get one a logic one input results in a logic one output whereas a logic zero input results at a logic zero output so we can write the boolean expression for the output that is y is equal to x that is output is same as the input not gate 
or you can call it as inverter popularly called as NOT gate this is the only gate which will have one input and one output the symbol you can see here here there is a bubble it symbolizes that the output will be the complement of the input this is the military symbol or the American National Standard Institute symbol this is a British symbol most popularly we use this then X is the input this is a true table as I said true table gives you the relationship between the input and the output you can see x is 0 y is 1 you can see x is equal to 1 y is equal to 0 so output is the complementary form of the input so you can write the boolean expression as y is equal to x bar the output is the complementary form of the input if you apply 0 here you will get 1 if you apply 1 it will be 0 because it is a not gate not 0 means 1 not 1 means it is 0 inverters are used to complement the logic state here it is complemented 0 to 1 here 1 to 0 a logic 1 input results in a logic 0 a logic 1 results in a logic 0 and a logic 0 results in logic 1 the boolean expression for the output y the boolean expression for the output y is y is equal to x bar where x is the input y is the output now let us move on to the AND gate AND the meaning here it is AND AND you know the English meaning of the AND the symbol of the AND gate is this and this is the British symbol I prefer this symbol then the true table if you apply 0 0 0 and 0 0 and 0 false and false definitely output will be false false and true definitely it is false true and false it will be false only in both the cases it is true then only the output is 1 because this is and 1 and 1 the boolean expression for the output y is y is equal to a plus a and b y and y is equal to a and b and gates will produce a logic one output when all the inputs are simultaneously at logic one we have considered a two input and gate so if both are one the output will be one if you consider a four input or eight input definitely if all the inputs are high then only it will be one all other combinations will result in zero so this is a boolean expression y is equal to a and b so you if you want to understand in a little bit different way let us have a battery and two switches and a bulb let us call this as switch as a this switch as b this bulb as y apply the voltage here let us see when the bulb will glow let us consider the first case 0 0 let us assume switch a is open which represents 0 switch b is open which represents b is equal to 0 if both the switches are open no current flows through the circuit definitely you know the bulb will not glow if bulb does not glow let us represent it by 0 so if both the switches are open no current flows bulb will not glow so 0 0 0 suppose if you close switch b suppose if you close switch b it is closed now also no current can flow now also no current can flow because switch a is open if no current flows the bulb will not glow so y is equal to 0 even if the a, switch a is open b is closed no current flows now let us close the switch a here and b is open now also no current flows no current flows y is 0 now the last case both the switches are closed a is 1 b is 1 now let us close both the switches both the switches now current flows through the circuit and bulb will glow so y is equal to 1 so this is how we can understand and a and b must be high a and b must be high to make the output high a and b or even in simple terms if you want to understand the and gate assume that you are attending a marriage function 
मैरिज टू हैपन बोथ ब्राइड एंड ब्राइड ग्रूम मस्ट बी प्रेजेंट देन ओनली द मैरिज विल हैपन इफ द मैरिज इज हैपनिंग वी विल रिप्रेजेंट इट बाई वन ब्राइड इज प्रेजेंट एंड ब्राइड ग्रूम इज प्रेजेंट द मैरिज इज हैपनिंग इन द फर्स्ट केस देर इज नो ब्राइड देर इज नो ब्राइड ग्रूम नो मैरिज कैन हैपन जीरो 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 ह्योर ब्राइड इज देयर ब्राइड इज नॉट देयर ब्राइड ग्रूम इज प्रेजेंट सो मैरिज कैन नॉट हैपन ह्योर ब्राइड इज देयर ब्राइड ग्रूम इज नॉट देयर डेफिनेटली नो मैरिज because marriage to happen bride and bridegroom must be present then only the marriage will happen so this is how we can understand and gate and kannadadalli mattu a mattu b eradu high agidra matra output high agirathu then coming to the or gate or kannadadalli athava a athava b high agidra saaku output high agirathu a r b or so our gates will produce a logic one output whenever any one or more any minimum is one or more than one input is high then the output will be high if any one of the input is high the output is high our gate will only produce a logic zero when all of its inputs are at logic zero the boolean expression which represents our gate is y is equal to a r b a r b now this is a symbol sorry this is the symbol of r gate just observe the symbol here this is a british symbol and the truth table coming to the truth table 0 or 0 so output is 0 0 or 1 this is 1 so output is 1 1 or 0 so it is 1 1 or 1 it is 1 1 or 1 it is 1 if now if you want to have the circuit just similar to the previous circuit what we saw here we will have a switch here we will have one more switch then we will have a bulb here let us say this is a this is b if both the switches are open no current can flow if any one of the switch is closed definitely the current flows bulb glows if both the switches are closed then also the current flows so bulb glows so R gate, any one of the input is high, the output is high. Any one. If both the inputs are high, then also it is high. A, R, B must be high to make the output high. If you have understood AND and OR gates, so understanding NAND and NOR is very simple. Coming to the NAND gate, this N stands for NOT. This N stands for NOT. As usual, this is the AND gate. So simple is first write the and gate symbol then write a bubble which represents the not this bubble represents the not so this is a not gate symbol this is a british symbol of the not gate then the true table if you observe this is just a complementary form of the and gate output zero and zero 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 complement is one the boolean expression for this is y is equal to a and b whole bar because it is an and gate y is equal to a and b is and the complement is nand so here 0 and 0 is 0 0 bar is 1 0 and 1 is 0 0 complement is 1 1 and 0 is 0 0 complement is 1 1 and 1 is 1 1 complement is 0 so it is just the inverted form of the and gate the nand gates will only produce a logic 0 when all the inputs are simultaneously at logic 1. Other input combinations will produce a logic 1. An AND gate is an AND gate with its output inverted. The circle shown here denotes the inversion or a NOT gate. Then coming to the NOR gate, once again N stands for NOT and OR gate. Write the OR gate symbol, write a bubble which stands for the NOT gate. This is the British symbol, then writing the true table. Here the logic expression is y is equal to a or b whole bar. a or b is for the or get, not get, put a complement here. So a or b whole bar. 0 plus 0 is 0, 0 bar is 1. 0 plus 1 is 1, 1 complement is 0. 1 plus 0 is 1, 1 comp uh, complement is 0. 1 plus 1, 1, 1 complement is 0. So if you compare this nor gate true table with the or gate, definitely they are complementary to each other. The nor gates will only produce a logic 1 input when 
all inputs are simultaneously at logic 0 all other combinations that is 0 1 1 0 1 1 will produce a logic 0 output an R gate is an R gate with its output inverted for that y is equal to a plus b whole bar so this is about the NAR gates this NAND and NOR gates are called as the universal gates then exclusive OR gate popularly known as XOR gate exclusive OR gate the name itself says exclusively any one of the input should be high to make the output high exclusively one of the input should be high to make the output high in all other combinations the output will be zero now let us come to the symbol first write the OR gate symbol then write the XOR here A B here Y is equal to A XOR B then coming to the true table 0 XR 0 is 0 because exclusively one of the input should be high to make the output high 0 1 one of the input is high so make output high 1 0 one of the input is high make high but here both the inputs are high so make the output 0 exclusively only one of the input should be high for a 2 input XR gate or you can use this XR gate to find the dissimilar inputs there are similar inputs the output is 0 0 0 output is 0 here 1 1 it is 0 or you can find the odd parity because odd number of ones 0 1 here only 1 1 0 only 1 1 is odd so XR gate can be used to find the odd parity then how to write the logical expression or the boolean expression for this true table first note down when the output is high in these two cases the output is high so y is equal to this 0 is represented as this 0 is represented as complementary form of this variable that is a bar 1 as it is use it as b here it is 1 directly use it as a but if it is 0 take the complement of b so y is equal to y is equal to a bar I'm talking about this a bar then b this is one combination which will result in the output 1 one more combination is this or one more combination is this a for this 0 it is b bar so a b bar plus a bar b is the boolean expression for the xr gate suppose it is for the x nor gate x nor gate so this is a symbol write the xr gate then put a bubble then here a and b so y is equal to a xrb put a whole bar then it becomes x nor gate this is x nor then how to write the true table a and b are the inputs y is the output 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 it is the complementary form of xr gate that means if both the inputs are similar then the output is high that is 0 0 1 1 for the other combinations it is 0 0 this is the true table for the x nor gate this is a symbol then how to write the logical equation sure in this case output is high here in this case output is high here the case is 0 0 so what you can write here a bar b bar because both are 0 0 or one more condition is this both are high so we can write it as a b so a b plus a bar b bar is the boolean expression for the exclusive nor gate so this is about the gates let us see two examples simple examples very simple examples on these logic gates here the problem goes like this a logic circuit is to be constructed that will produce a logic one a logic circuit is to be constructed that will produce a logic one output whenever two or more whenever two or more of its three inputs are at logic one he is saying there are three inputs out of three inputs whenever two or more of the inputs are at logic one then the output will be logic one go through the problem once again here it goes like this a logic circuit is to be constructed that will produce a logic one whenever two or more of its three inputs are at logic high so we need to write the true table he says there are three inputs so write a b c if there are three inputs then we can have 
8 combinations because 2 to the power of 3 is 8. So write all possible combinations 0 0 0 0 0 0 1 0 1 0 0 1 1 1 0 0 1 0 1 1 1 0 1 1 1. These are the possible 8 combinations for the binary. Then the output will be high when 2 or more of it 3 inputs are at logic 1. Here all are 0 it is 0. One of the input is high so it is 0. One of the input is high so it is 0. But here in this combination 2 inputs are high so make the output 1. Here only one input is high, so make it zero. Here two inputs are high, make it out, make the output one. Here two inputs are high, so make output one. Here all three inputs are high, so make the output one. So writing the truth table is very easy if you understand the problem. Then the expression corresponding to this, note down where the output is high. So here is high, here, here, here. Four combinations will give you high. So this combination here it is 1, here it is 1. So B, C. One more combination is A, C. One more combination is A, B. Another combination is A, B, C. So either this or this or this or this will produce the logic one. So Y is equal to B, C or A, C or A, B or A, B, C will produce the output one. Then how to write the logic circuit for this? Here we have BC. This means B and C. So you take a AND gate, apply B and C here. Take a AND gate, apply B, C. Take one more AND gate for AC, apply A, apply C. Here one more AB, take an AND gate, apply AB. Here ABC. In your notes or in your textbook prescribed by the VTU, this is missing. So write A, B, C. Here is C. Here is B. A. Draw here. So this will give you A, B, C. Apply this to R gate. Why? Here is R. Here is R. Here is R. So it is a 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3 here, AC, here AB, here BC, here ABC, AC plus AB plus BC plus ABC plus ABC. So here is a mistake here, this AND gate is not taken. Here we have included and here we have written this. So note on the changes, what changes to be make in your notes. Yeah, last example, very simple example. Show how an arrangement of basic gates, use basic gates and or not to realize XR. You know XR, XR operation is this Y is equal to AB bar plus A bar B. This is a Boolean expression for the exclusive R function. So we need to realize this using AND or NOT. So first A into B bar. This is first A into B bar. So take A. B bar. So B. Take a NOT gate. Then this becomes B bar. Apply to a AND gate. Apply to AND gate. You will get A B bar. Then A bar B. A bar B. Take an and gate a bar from a through a not gate so this becomes a bar directly apply b so here you will get a bar b so these two terms are combined using a r gate so take an r gate to input r gate apply here then you will get a b bar plus a bar b so in this video we have discussed the logic gates and also two examples hope you have understood see you in the next video thank you